Toy Collector Fun here. Today we're going to open an E-Team Eco Rescue Team Ocean Shark Research Set. This is in honor of Shark Week that's coming up. So this looks like it comes with a pontoon boat, two action figures, and a shark with a lot of equipment inside. We're going to have to open it up and check it out. It is for ages three and older. From the smallest ponds and streams to the largest rivers and oceans, water is home to an endless array of life forms. These creatures have adapted to survive in both salt and freshwater environments. Large lakes, tiny ponds, and even fast running streams are home to a variety of aquatic life. Like other predators, sharks rely on their scents to find and catch their prey. Sharks can hear, touch, see, taste, and even smell in the water. With a flexible body, rows of sharp teeth that can be quickly replaced if lost, tough skin, and powerful tail fins that quickly propel, sharks' adaptations have made them successful predators in the sea. Okay, let's start with our research boat. It has, it looks like a light up in front that can come off. So let's take it off and see what happens. Let me take it off. This actually looks like it floats in water and can be played with in water, which would be super fun. I think they just had it secure here for shipping purposes. This doesn't look like it really, oh, it does come off, but not, not easily. And this looks like it is a light and the boat itself, oh, it has actual moving propeller in the back and a motor that you can steer, that's cool. This antenna, this antenna moves around. These can lift up, antenna to get communication. It's like this is a full-fledged research boat. Oh, this keeps the people locked in so no one falls out while uh, doing some research on sharks. I've got it on both sides. And if you see here, they have the two action figures really um, wired in for shipping. So I'm going to take them out and then we'll look at them together. Okay, after some wrangling, I got our two researchers out. We have a man who has a vest with all sorts of research equipment on it. I don't even know what. Pockets with all sorts of equipment. He's a typical action figure. He can move in all different ways. He's got a hat on to protect him from the sun. And it looks like he has a walkie-talkie to his ear. And his hands look like he can hold on to something. So let's put him in the chair and see if he can stand up on his own. Or maybe we should have him drive. Or shine the light. Hmm. There's nothing really for him to grab onto here, although it implies that he should be holding on to something. Let's see, can he hold on to the Okay, he's too tall to hold on to the chair. So he'll just stand and, and drive here. You can see that um, there is some detail in the boat. There is a walkie-talkie and some equipment. No steering wheel though. And I guess they steer it from back here. And there is, um, looks like blankets and oxygen and some other things inside too. All, all the yellow mustard color of the boat. So let's put him in to uh, look up ahead. And now let's take a look at our fearless research gal. Looks like her hair is blowing in the wind there and she also has all this uh, research equipment on her and she too moves like a typical action figure and she has the ability to hold on to something. I'm just not quite sure what it would be. So we'll put her in the back. Although she did come here, hanging on here, so let's put her here. Maybe she's in charge of her. some sort of research back there. So there are our two researchers in their research pontoon. And he 
here is the shark they are researching. Does anyone know what this is? Which type it is? To me, it kind of looks like a tiger shark, but I'm not sure. Um, he does not look happy. You can see him. He does not look happy, but he is not looking to bite anyone right now. His mouth is shut, which is kind of a relief. And he's got all his fins and his tail fin that helps him move super fast. He's actually pretty realistic looking. He's white on the bottom like most sharks are. And he's got his gills. So there you have it. Our eco-adventure research team and the shark they're researching. This would be a great toy to play with and create your own adventure with, especially after Shark Week. This has been Toy Collector Fun. I hope you had fun. Please be sure to subscribe for all future videos. Bye. Hi, Toy Collector Fun here, and in honor of Shark Week, we are opening an Animal Planet Great White Shark Extreme Shark Adventure Kit.